Hello, my name is uh, uh, Mori Orang. I am with the California Department of uh, Water Resources, Division of Statewide Integrated Water Management, uh, Water Use and Efficiency Branch. I am responsible for managing water use program. Today I would like to uh, give a brief overview of the COP Plus application program developed to estimate daily soil water balance to determine crop evapotranspiration and evapotranspiration of applied water for use in irrigation water management planning. By definition, evapotranspiration of applied water, OET of applied water, is an estimate of seasonal crop evapotranspiration minus any water supplied by seasonal effective seepage of groundwater, minus seasonal effective rainfall, and minus the change in soil water content from the beginning to the end of the season. In other words, ET of applied water is the amount of irrigation water that contributes to crop evapotranspiration, or ETC, or sum of net application over a growing season. The information is needed by the California Department of Water Resources to plan its future water demand by agriculture irrigation. We develop COP Plus using Microsoft Excel to generate hypothetical irrigation schedule to determine seasonal and annual ET of applied water for agricultural crops and other surfaces within a study area or region that account for ET losses, water contribution from seepage of groundwater, rainfall, and irrigation. The application program uses daily weather data from CEMES to compute daily difference of evapotranspiration using daily Pema Montes equation, which has been recommended by both American Society of Civil Engineers and United Nations FAO as a standard method for estimating daily reference of evapotranspiration. Weather data from CEMES includes daily mean soil radiation, maximum minimum air temperature, wind speed, dew point temperature, and precipitation. The application program also uses a curve fitting technique to drive daily weather data and to determine daily difference of evapotranspiration and crop evapotranspiration where only monthly data exists. Then crop and soil information are used to estimate daily crop coefficients, crop evapotranspiration, daily soil water balance, effective seepage of groundwater, effective rainfall, and uh, ET of applied water for agricultural crops and other surfaces within a study area. Water shortage uh, is the result of many factors, including poor management of sufficient water supply, particularly in agriculture, climate change such as droughts or floods, cities and population growth which demand more water, and finally economic growth. Here are some of the strategies that we can use to increase water productivity. Use good agricultural practices. Improve existing irrigation system for applying irrigation water more efficiently. Conduct irrigation deficit practices. And shifting planting dates. One of the main objectives of COP Plus application program is to improve the estimation of crop evapotranspiration and ET of applied water for irrigation water planning. The use of daily Pema Montes equation for calculating daily reference of evapotranspiration, improved methodology for applying crop coefficient for estimating crop evapotranspiration, and daily calculation of water balance have greatly improved the crop evapotranspiration and ET of applied water accuracy. To investigate how changes in weather will affect the water demand by agriculture irrigation using different scenarios. To use daily weather data from CMS to compute daily reference of evapotranspiration using daily Pamontis equation. To use a care fitting technique to drive daily weather data from monthly mean values from CMS to estimate daily reference of evapotranspiration and crop evapotranspiration to determine crop evapotranspiration and ET applied water for agricultural crops and other surfaces within a study area. Finally, to estimate monthly, seasonal, and annual crop evapotranspiration and ET of applied water for agricultural crops uh, within a study area or region. To run 
the COPLUS application program to perform daily soil water balance to determine crop evapotranspiration and evapotranspiration of applied water for agricultural crops and other surfaces within a study area, three sets of information are required. Weather data, crop information, and soil information. Output from COPLUS consists of daily and monthly weather and calculated reference of evapotranspiration within study area, a daily and monthly calculated crop coefficient, crop evapotranspiration, uh, soil water balance, effective seepage of groundwater, effective rainfall, and ET of applied water within study area, seasonal and annual total of reference of evapotranspiration, crop evapotranspiration, and ET of applied water. COPLUS also has the capability to output a wide range of tables and charts that are useful for irrigation water planning. COPLUS was developed to use California weather data, pan evaporation data. Pan is one of the most common methods of estimating dairy uh, reference evapotranspiration, which they have traditionally been used. CIMES stands for California Irrigation Management Information System. Data coming from CIMES are very accurate and has many more stations than PAN network. ETO zone map. COPLUS includes a California map showing 18 zones of similar reference evapotranspiration rates developed by the California Department of Water Resources and the University of California, Davis. COPLUS is designed to uh, compute daily reference of evapotranspiration using daily pan Montes equation, which has been recommended by both American Society of Civil Engineers and United Nations FAO. If daily um, soil radiation, maximum, minimum air temperature, mean speed, dew point temperature are input in the program, the program will automatically uh, estimate daily reference of evapotranspiration using daily pan Montes equation. If only maximum and minimum air temperature are input into the program, then the program will use the hargib samani equation to calculate ETO. If pan evaporation data are input into the program, the program will use uh, a new methodology to estimate reference evapotranspiration as a function of fetch value without the need for wind speed and relative uh, humidity data. COPLUS is designed to allow us to investigate how changes in weather will affect the water demand by aquaculture irrigation. For example, by increasing or decreasing soil radiation by a factor or changing the air temperature will uh, help us to see what would happen to ETO. COPLUS also is designed to allow us to uh, change CO2 concentration to investigate the effects of increasing CO2 concentration on ETO. We can also change the rainfall pattern to see what would happen to ET of applied water. We use COPLUS application program to estimate daily reference evapotranspiration using four different scenarios at Davis, California. This figure shows uh, daily E2 estimates from COPLUS uh, for current conditions at Davis, California. Red line presents daily uh, E2 estimates from COPLUS when maximum and minimum air temperature elevated three degree Celsius. Green line presents daily ETO estimates from COPLUS when maximum and minimum air temperature and dew temperature elevated three degrees Celsius. Finally, orange line presents daily ETO estimates from COPLUS when maximum, minimum air temperature and dew point temperature elevated three degrees Celsius, and CO2 concentration increased from 372 to 550 parts per million. Increasing only maximum and minimum air temperature led to 17.2% increase in ETO. Increasing maximum and minimum air temperature and dew point temperature led to 8.2% increase in ETO. And finally, increasing maximum and minimum air temperature and dew point temperature and CO2 concentration led to only 3.6% increase in ETO over current conditions. Crop and soil information includes crop name, starting and ending dates, 
uh, voting frequency from rainfall and irrigation during the initial growth period, presence of cover crop for tree and vine crops, immaturity factors, uh, maximum rooting depth during the growing season, available water holding capacity, maximum soil depth, and allow depletion. COP Plus uses the latest uh, methodology to uh, determine crop coefficient values for a wide variety of agricultural crops because accurate estimates of crop water use are largely dependent on the accuracy of crop coefficient values. For example, during the off season, soil evaporation is the main component of ET. Therefore, the application program uses a two-stage soil evaporation model to estimate both soil coefficient value as a function of mean ETO and rating frequency in days. This uh, figure shows a daily calculated birth soil coefficient value from the two-stage soil evaporation uh, model. Then the program uses birth soil coefficient values as a baseline to adjust the crop coefficient values for breeding frequency from rainfall and irrigation during the initial growth period and off season. This color line presents daily calculated crop coefficient values for all main tree crop during each growth period. As can be seen, the crop coefficient values for almond tree were automatically adjusted for breeding frequency from rainfall during the initial growth period. Irrigation frequency is the number of days between irrigation events during the initial growth period. Initial crop coefficient values for most crop depends on soil evaporation rate, which depends on breeding frequency from rainfall or irrigation during the initial growth period. Therefore, the application program automatically adjusts the crop coefficient values for very frequency from rainfall or irrigation during that period. COP plus accounts for cover crop contribution to uh, crop coefficient values for tree and wine crops. Tree and wine crop with cover crop have higher crop coefficient values. When cover crop days are entered into the program, the COP plus application program automatically add a value of 0.35 to the crop coefficient value during that period. However, the crop coefficient values cannot exceed 1.15 or far below 0.90. COP plus also accounts for maturity effects on crop coefficient values for tree and vine crop. Immature tree and vine crop use less water than mature crops. When canopy reaches 70% ground cover, the crop is considered mature. When canopy reaches 70% ground cover, the crop coefficient values for tree and one crop are at peak because large interception by canopy is the main component of determining ET rates. The application program also creates uh, the mid-season crop coefficient values for climate. It is known that mid-season crop coefficient values vary with climate. Therefore, the application program uh, corrects the mid-season tabular crop coefficient values for climate using the following uh, relationship as a function of mid-summer uh, ETO. In this program, soil water balance is calculated on each day. Yield threshold depletion for crop is used to identify when irrigation events are needed during the growing season. And it is the maximum soil water depletion allowed during the growing season and cannot be exceeded uh, because of yield reduction due to water stress. And it is uh, determined by multiplying allowed depletion by plant available water. In COP plus, the yield threshold depletion is estimated as 50% of the plant available water. Allowed depletion is the percentage of plant available water that can be depleted from crop root zone between irrigation event during the uh, growing season. For many crop and soil information, uh, an allowed depletion of 50% is a very reasonable value. For drought-sensitive crops and sensitive rooting system, systems, uh, the allowed depletion can be decreased by about 10 to 15 percent. For drought-tolerant crops with dense root system, the allowed depletion uh, can be between 50 to 65 percent. Planning available water is the total amount of water uh, held in the crop root zone and is determined by multiplying 
available soil water holding capacity of the soil by the smaller rooting depth or soil depth. For example, if a maximum soil depth is greater than effective rooting depth, then plant available water is determined by multiplying available soil water holding capacity by effective rooting depth. If maximum soil depth is less than effective rooting depth, then plant available, available water is determined by multiplying available soil water holding capacity by maximum soil depth. During the off-season, maximum depletion allowed is about 50% of the plant available water in the upper 30 centimeters of the soil. Maximum soil water depletion is used to identify when irrigation events are needed during the off-season. Soil water depletion is a difference between the fuel capacity and soil water content of the root soil. In this program, soil water depletion is estimated by adding crop evapotranspiration values on the same day to soil water depletion of the previous day. If there is an irrigation event or rainfall event, amount of water applied on the soil surface is automatically subtracted from soil water depletion on the same day. This automatically estimates effective rainfall. Comparing soil water depletion with yield pressure depletion helps us to determine when and how much to irrigate. Therefore, irrigation events are given when soil water depletion exceeds yield pressure depletion. Cup plus application program estimates effective seepage of groundwater and effective rainfall based on soil water depletion and seepage and rainfall amounts. For example, if seepage is greater than soil water depletion, then effective seepage is estimated is, is set equal to soil water depletion. If seepage is less than soil water depletion, then effective seepage is set equal to seepage. The soil water depletion adjusted for seepage is determined uh, by soil water depletion minus effective seepage. And again, in this program, effective rainfall is estimated in the same manner as, uh, in a similar manner as effective uh, seepage. Uh, for example, if precipitation depth is greater than the adjusted soil water depletion, then effective uh, precipitation is set equal to soil water depletion. If precipitation is less than soil water depletion, then effective precipitation is set equal to precipitation. ET applied water, as we mentioned earlier, it is a sum of net application over a growing season. All alternatively can be estimated as a seasonal crop evapotranspiration minus seasonal effective seepage of groundwater minus seasonal effective rainfall and minus the change in soil water content from the beginning to the end of the season. If a crop is pregated, then soil water depletion is set equal to zero. If a crop is not pregated, then soil water depletion is determined by water balance during the off season before planting or leaf out. Cup Plus has many uh, Excel worksheets. Help uh, worksheet uh, describes various components uh, of the uh, program and also provides step-by-step -step instruction how to manage Cup Plus application program to perform daily soil water balance to determine crop evapotranspiration and ET of applied water for a culture crop within the study area. Monthly climate input worksheet is used to input uh, monthly mean weather, uh, reference evapotranspiration, and pan evaporation into the program for estimating reference evapotranspiration and crop evapotranspiration. Weather data includes solar radiation, maximum, minimum air temperature, wind speed, dew point temperature, precipitation, and number of rainy days per month. If solar radiation maximum, minimum air temperature, wind speed, dew point temperature, are input into the, the table, the application program will automatically estimate defensive evapotranspiration using daily Parmontese equation. If only maximum and minimum air temperature are input into the table, the application program uses the hargreaves samani equation to calculate ETO. If, uh, ETO are directly input into the table, then those values are used by COP plus for estimating crop evapotranspiration. If pan uh, evaporation are input into the table, then the program will use uh, the new methodology 
to estimate defensive vapor transpiration uh, using a fetch value without the need for wind speed and relative humidity data. The cells at the bottom of the tables uh, showing ETO values that are being used by the application program for estimating crop vapor transpiration. Daily weather input uh, worksheet is used to uh, input uh, daily weather data into the program for estimating daily defense evapotranspiration, crop evapotranspiration, and ET evaporate water. Weather data includes solar radiation, maximum minimum air temperature, wind speed, dew point temperature, and precipitation. If solar radiation, T max, T minimum, wind speed, dew point temperature are input into this uh, table, then the application will use daily per Montese equation to calculate ETO. If only maximum minimum temperature are input, then the program will automatically use the hargreaves samoni equation to calculate ETO. Uh, this uh, input-output worksheet uh, is used for selecting weather, crop, and soil information for uh, performing daily soil water balance to uh, determine crop evapotranspiration and evapotranspiration of applied body for agriculture crops and other surfaces within study area for currently inter uh, crop and soil information. The cells on the left hand side of the worksheet are used for selecting weather crop and soil information, and the cells on the right on the right hand side of the worksheet are used to output uh, uh, to view the output values. Output uh, uh, from the couplers consists of uh, monthly mean crop coefficient uh, values, monthly total defense of evapotranspiration, monthly total crop evapotranspiration, and monthly total ET applied water during the growing season. This program also provides a bar graph of monthly total defense of evapotranspiration, crop evapotranspiration, ET applied water during the growing season for currently intercrop and soil information. Crop reference worksheet uh, contains a list of crop numbers, crop names, uh, percentages of season, crop coefficient values as critical growth points, starting date, and ending date. If the crops are not available from the list, the program is designed to allow us to input our own crop numbers, crop name, estimate the percentages of the season, crop coefficient values, planting, and uh, harvesting dates. This worksheet is used to enter uh, water contribution from seepage, fog, and dew uh, for estimating daily change in soil water content. Uh, the climate change worksheet uh, is uh, designed to help us to study the impact of climate change on reference evapotranspiration, crop evapotranspiration, and ET applied water using different uh, scenarios. And then it compares the results with the current conditions. Couplers also has the ability to uh, plot uh, daily calculated bristle coefficient value from a true state soil evaporation model during the growing season and off season, and also plus daily calculated crop coefficient values with different color lines uh, during each growth period uh, for currently intercrop and soil information. It also plus uh, daily soil water balance calculation for currently intercrop and soil information. This plot shows uh, fluctuation in soil water content between the field capacity and uh, maximum soil water depletion during the growing season and off season. And as the soil water content exceeds uh, the yield social depletion or maximum soil water depletion during the growing season, irrigation events are given. This plot also shows daily calculated crop evapotranspiration and uh, rainfall during the off season and growing season. Coplas uh, also uh, displays a plot of cumulative daily crop evapotranspiration, effective sewage of groundwater, effective rainfall, net application, and uh, uh, daily ET of applied water versus the time during the growing season and off season. Coplas has the capability to change the canopy resistance in response to CO2 concentration uh, for climate change studies, uh, evaluate different irrigation strategy to support irrigation, irrigation planning, uh, suggest possible strategy to reduce water consumption, 
and also helps to maximize the water productivity. C plus allows us, you know, easy input of better crop and soil information. It includes a, a database of monthly climate data by CIMIS over California. Outputs a wide range of tables and charts that are useful for irrigation water planning. And also uh, uh, allows us to view the output values as they are created. It also outputs daily calculated reference evapotranspiration, crop coefficient, crop evapotranspiration, ET applied water by Siemens over California. Again, COP Plus application program is a user-friendly program that accounts for many factors that are usually ignored in other concept abuse programs. Thank you.